Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. This video today is going to be targeted for the younger audience that watch my channel. There are plenty of students who are in year 9, year 10, year 11 who are all quite keen on doing medicine and so I thought I'd be relatively useful to you guys as well because I do know a lot of my advice focuses on A-levels and applying to university but for those of you who are slightly earlier on in your school career this video is going to really help you out. In particular this video is going to be for those of you who are interested in a career in medicine who are interested in studying medicine at university and then going into some sort of medical discipline in the future. For those of you who don't yet know me, I'm Sen, I'm a fourth year medical student here at Cambridge and over the past few years I've been making a variety of academic and advice and vlog based videos to share my experience of medicine but also to encourage as many of you to get into medicine as possible. I'll be launching a super cool club for all of you who are currently at school and want to do medicine. However old you are, you can join this club and it's going to be called the Med Squad. Once you're part of the Med Squad, you will be part of a kick-ass squad that'll work hard and one day be helping patients across the world to improve their quality of life and to put smiles on their faces. So do look out for notifications about the Med Squad. I'm very excited to be launching it in a few videos time, so keep your ears open. So when I was on your stage, let's say around 13, 14 years old, I had just about made up my mind that I wanted to be a doctor. I had chosen between banking and medicine, and I chose medicine. A few of my friends around me also chose medicine and so it was a group decision I must say. My sister also had an influence given that she wanted to do medicine too. Now, although I made the decision to do this, I had no clue at all about what I had to do, the things I had to gain over the forthcoming years in order to make a strong medical school application. And so in this video, I want to share those tips with you. Before I continue, go to my website right now, sendcath.com and go to the free resources section. And I've summarized all this advice into a big checklist. And if you follow this checklist over the next few years, then you will have everything, if not more than enough, to get into the top UK universities for medicine. So I really encourage you to go to my website, sendcath.com and go check that out. Now, focusing on today's video, I need to keep it fairly brief. The main aspects, if you're at the stage, if you're 13, 14, 15, and you want to do medicine, that you should focus on are the following. Firstly, your grades. Your grades really, really matter. And Jesus see onwards, if you do as well as you can, if you try and get the top grades, then when you come to apply, you can then aim for the top medical schools. If you don't try too hard, Jesus see onwards, it makes it a bit more difficult. And so if you're like me and you like to have a choice when you do things, then I strongly recommend that you try hard in your school exams and make sure you get good GCSEs and good A-levels. As many 8s and 9s as possible. A few 7s are all right, not too many. 6s are the equivalent of Bs. And to be fair, they are still a very good grade, but they're not going to make you as competitive compared to if you got in a 7 or an 8 or a 9. So the next thing is work experience and volunteering. It's really important for you to start looking into work experience opportunities. Once you're 15, 16, you can start applying to hospitals and asking them, may I apply for work experience? May I come and shadow doctors, a &E doctors, or spiritual doctors? I did my first work experience placement when I was 16 years old, and that was a really insightful experience. If you're much younger, 13, 14, then getting into hospitals might be quite difficult. So I really encourage you to watch a variety of medical documentaries and YouTube videos to keep yourself engaged in medicine. Also, there are loads of useful books you can read, so I'll put a few in the description down below. The third main thing that I really think you should focus on at this age is your extracurricular activities. Medical students, nearly all of them have a good work-life balance. They work really hard in the academia and then they go do some sport, play some music, and they do it to a very high level. So since you're quite young, since you're 13, 14, 15, 16, start picking up these extracurricular activities. By the time you apply to medical school when you're 17, 18, you're at a decent stage. Then you can say, for example, I'm grade four or five in this instrument, or I've won a few medals, or I've competed on a county level in this sport. All these things sound amazing, and that allow you to elevate your personal statement and make you seem more competitive. So I've kept this video really, really short, but to summarize once again, focus on your grades. Make sure you get loads of experiences of volunteering and if you're too young for that, then start watching documentaries and read books. Third thing, make sure that you get involved in extracurricular activities, do some sport, play some instruments and become a more interesting character. So as always, I hope you find this video very useful and please do go on my website and check out this master checklist that I've put together for you guys for you to put together a fantastic application by the time you apply to medical school. And that's what I've got to say, really. If you enjoyed this video, if it's useful, please give it a like. If you really loved it, then please do subscribe to the channel. And lastly, do go comment down below if you have any questions or any comments about the video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Cheerio.